Good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 25th, 2017. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and Merry Christmas. Today's video is about our active volcanoes around the world, as I'm pointing out here. Mexico and in Peru. All of these volcanoes have become active over the last uh, four hours. You can see here there's a list of about nine of them that have been updated uh, just in the last four hours so that means they've become more active. Um, these volcanoes have been actively erupting for a while now and we have actually 33 volcanoes that are actively erupting around the world. And one of them is this Bezimieni in Russia and that erupted on December 20th can see here on the volcano map. And I was watching also uh, some NASA worldview imagery over this last little while and you know how much uh, volcanoes can affect our world um, when they release their clouds of ash. The ash falls eventually and it also the charged atmosphere charges our atmosphere the charged cloud. So here is uh, satellite imagery from overlooking the Bezimiani volcano in Russia. And you can see here on the 20th, there was nothing, but then on the 21st, this big uh, brown anomaly on the, on the snow. And that is exactly where the winds were pushing at the time when it blew its top and spread ash and cloud 40, 50,000 feet in the air. And it hasn't snowed yet, so you can see still right up until the 25th that it is just blanketed, this dark ash, the line all the way to the ocean. It's quite amazing, actually. This is probably about 400 kilometers, 500 kilometers of land that was just covered in volcanic ash from the eruption on the 20th. So this uptick continues with volcanic activity around the world and it also continues with a lot of earthquakes. And we've had some pretty sizable earthquakes, a lot of 4.0 and greater over the past 24 hours. This is our 24 hour map. And looking around the world, 5.6 in the Indian Ridge, and some 4.0s in the Iraq and Iran, 4.0 in Greece again. Some action down here in Peru, where that volcano is actively erupting. And 5.0 and the 5.0 here in the Indonesia and Malaysia and 4.5 in the Kamchatka region of Russia right where Bezimieni is uh, blowing its steam so just giving you a quick show around the world here this is North America now and the Cascadia plate is very active and I'm especially watching in this area here will be an upcrick, an increase in seismicity as there's a very large low pressure system spinning right off the coast here and will be gaining strength as it heads into the Alaskan Peninsula. So watch for uptick in seismicity throughout this whole area. This is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. And a lot of them are recent. There's a lot of weight ones amongst these. So, my predictions were right. I'm happy to say that my predictions were right. I was predicting that we would see the uptick in seismicity from the 20th to the 25th. And so far, I'm bang on. Now, what I would like to tell everybody today is that everybody needs to have a plan for 
a large seismic event. That means a couple weeks of food, couple weeks of water, have an escape plan or a bunker plan or whatever you need to do because there will be a large event that's going to affect you one day as well. It's happening all around the world. So please stay aware and prepared, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Morning Dew. I love you all for supporting me. This has been an awesome nine-month journey. Here we are looking at the weather maps. This is the next five-day forecast uh, overlooking the Pacific Ocean. And now that uh, Typhoon Tembin is broken down, there is another large, yet another large low pressure developing in the same line that Kai Tak and Tembin took into the Philippines. So towards the end of the week, this is not over for the Philippines. Nor will it ever be, by the looks of things. But there's a lot of changes going on, folks. And I'm glad that you are here today with me to spread and listen to the research that I'm providing because this is what it's all about this is what I do in my spare time I research this stuff all around the world I like to stay aware and up to date myself so when I started this channel I thought you know what why don't I share my research with everybody and it's been an awesome overwhelming adventure this has been so fun I met a lot of friends and I want to thank you all for joining me I especially want to give you all a big Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Please stay safe. Don't drink and drive. Uh, my big message today is come together and share and show you care with everyone around the world. And moving over to Africa and Europe and you can see very large low pressure system that develops off of the Atlantic provinces We'll be heading straight east into the Atlantic and into Europe, northwestern Europe. Uh, so we'll be dealing with some pretty strong winds and a lot of moisture with this system and probably some really cold temps behind it as that high pressure polar vortex is still fueling down a lot of cold air around the northern hemisphere. This has been Bike With Your Morning Dew. Thank you for watching today. Daily events worldwide posting my severe weather analysis from around the world and earthquake data as it happens. Thanks, stay young and have fun. You get your morning dew.